Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I have got my last video of 2021 and it is our Christmas food shopping haul. So this video is a little bit different because we're actually away at the moment. To cut a long story short, we had a Christmas break booked last year um, and then we went into a tier four lockdown. So obviously everything was canceled and we moved it on Christmas Eve last year to this year. So we're in a cabin in the woods and it's just us five like me steve bailey jake oscar the two dogs so seven technically and then my mum as well and basically we're just staying in the cabin we are going for lots of woodland walks so if you do follow my channel you'll probably know that i lost my dad earlier this year and this is the first christmas we've had without him so we brought my mum away for a little break in the forest where we can just be on our own and not be surrounded by everything at home and all the memories and things so i've done my christmas shopping and we went to sainsbury's this year because that's the biggest supermarket close to where we are so steve and i got up really early the boys stayed with mum and we went and did our shop so i'll take you through everything we've got the six of us in total and anything we don't eat or drink we would be taking home with us when we go home after christmas but i just thought i'd show you because lots of people enjoy watching these videos lots of people request these videos if you are someone who doesn't want to see somebody else's Christmas food shop, then obviously this isn't the video for you. I just wanted to say that because I don't want to make anybody feel like they haven't bought enough or they've bought too much or and just bear in mind that this is a Christmas food shopping haul. So it's going to be all the Christmas food that we've bought for our family. Everybody's situation is different. So I'm going to take you through what we've bought. And I'm also going to add in a little bit of our Christmas decorations and things because we've bought, you get a Christmas tree here, um, but you don't get lights and things or many lights. So we've bought lots of decorations and lights and we've made it look really, really festive. I'm not actually vlogging this holiday just because we need that time as a family without the camera. I'm putting little bits and pieces over on Instagram. It's just Victoria Folger. And... I'm going to film little meals and bits and bobs but I'm not actually going to do a proper vlog because I just want to turn the cameras off and spend some time with my family. So with all that being said, let's go and have a look at what we've bought. So we've got a medium British turkey crown, so 7 to 10. This was £20 and it is, how much? It's 2.9 kilos. We got two lots of sausages, we're going to do like a barbecue Christmas Eve. A medium smoked gammon joint. We got some bacon to have bacon breakfasts, chicken breast for a barbecue and some chicken thighs. We also bought some marinade for that somewhere. I've got some pate. This is a, what does it say? Smooth chicken liver parfait, rich with butter and Madeira wine. There is another pate somewhere. We've got some of these little bacon and pork cranberry stuffing balls with the little cranberries on. I think they look really, really cute. I've got some Sainsbury's Taste of Difference turkey granules. Veg wise, we've got some leeks to do roasted leeks. We've got carrots, parsnips, and sprouts. They were all 19p a pack. And then the potatoes, we've got two lots of baby potatoes and two lots of like bigger potatoes because this is like a week's worth of shopping. So we're going to do some jackets, we're going to do some baby potatoes, and then we've got some Maris Pipers for our roast on Christmas Day. We've got cucumber, some tomatoes black grapes and some satsumas because you have to have satsumas at Christmas. Cheese wise we've got some primula cheese spread with prawns, some of this chipotle chili cheddar and we've got some mild and creamy brie, there's the other pate, it is a Brussels style pate with cranberry, some of this castello extra mature one which we really really like and some castello creamy blue. Oh I also got some mushrooms as well, I don't know if I mentioned those. We've got some cranberry sauce which was a pound, some Branston pickle, the Frank's Red Hot Wing Sauce is what we're going to marinate the chicken in for the barbecue. We've got a seriously strong mature cheddar cheese. Two lots of cheese strings which were a pound each. Some coleslaw. And then we've got some sweet pickle, pickled onions. Some hot and spicy pickled onions and some baby beetroot. We've got um, a cooking oil, because obviously we're not home, we don't have all like our staple bits that you normally have in the cupboard. So we've got an oil, we've got some of these apple and watermelon sparkling J2Os. Tonic water, two squirty creams for mince pies and also hot chocolate. We've got the festive edition bread sauce, which I just love bread sauce. 
some brandy cream, extra thick brandy cream. We've got 12 British free range eggs, some semi skimmed milk, custard to go with the Christmas pudding, which I've already got somewhere, some extra strong foil, kitchen roll. Down here, we've got kitchen uh, toilet rolls. And then <laughs> along here, we have got cream soda, lemon and lime crush, pink lemonade, some Coke, sparkling water. Then we've got some wine. So we've got uh, this bicycleetta is really, really nice. Uh, Pinot Grigio, these were all on offer. Some Red 19 Crimes, which is the one where you scan it and the guy comes to life and like talks, which is really fun. Some Jam Shed, a snoring dog, even though we're not at home. Uh, some chocolate orange brownie flavour Irish cream liqueur. This was only £7 reduced. There's some Glenlivet Caribbean Reserve whiskey. And, and then there's another two. Obviously, these aren't all going to be drunk like now, but they were on offer, so we got them. I bought this as well, this giant shortbread biscuit kit, so we can make cookies on Christmas Eve. We've got a, a sliced bloomer, box of biscuits for cheese, box of Victoria chocolate biscuits, and then we've got some of these bits for the table. So we've got some Habitat mini crackers. These decorations were reduced, so I will, like I said, put some of the tree and that in. But I bought these, I think they were a pound, these little wooden ones. They'll just go really nicely, and then we can save them for other times. But these little tree decorations, look, there's like a little um, stocking, a glove, and a little hat. I think these were a pound. We've got these Joy crack Crackers napkins, a navy blue kind of tablecloth. We went for this colour crackers because we're in the forest, so we've got the one with the little trees on. Two lots of bake at home bread. And then we got some Doritos, an ancho chili bean dip, sandwich bags, milk chocolate digestives and marshmallows to do s'mores on the log burner. Couldn't get chestnuts in Sainsbury's. Um, we've got some salted peanuts and, and these crunchy sticks, some mince pies, and these like combo salt and black pepper mix. And then we popped in Aldi to try and get chestnuts to do on the log burner and they didn't have any. So we're not doing chestnuts, but we got Christmas tree shaped tortilla chips, some turkey and stuffing flavor, Pringle style things, and some sausage roll puffs. That's everything we bought in at Sainsbury's, couple of bits from Aldi's, and this is gonna last us the rest of the week all over christmas and then whatever we don't use or drink we'll be coming back home for the following week as well making our christmas memories i've been working so much lately i can barely find the time to sleep yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories Oh, and I've been long to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories
video and also for this year I believe so I just want to say thank you to everyone who watches this channel, who likes, who subscribes, who comments. Without you guys this channel wouldn't be possible and I wouldn't have the time to do what I do. So I really appreciate every single one of you and you've just been really supportive over the last year as well and it's so lovely. The messages I get from people and the understanding and I just want to say thank you and I hope everyone has an amazing Christmas. I hope you all manage to see family or stay safe wherever you are. And I will be back with you in the new year. Take care, everyone.